Ultimately, I now believe that any sentence, including the word should, must be treated carefully, that is, with a healthy degree of suspicion. In the end, I mean, who decided that it should or shouldn't? Is it about an empowering or limiting belief when it concerns to me? I'm a fan of rules, but not random ones, or those we follow just because it's tradition. Rules, including laws, social norms, and others, help us coexist and thrive as a society, yet they can also have an expiry date. So today, I'd like to invite you to look at some of your beliefs, including how you relate to pride in different dimensions of your life, and reflect on where these beliefs come from and whether they are empowering beliefs or limiting ones that you may want to consider putting aside. If you want to take it a step further, check my newsletter for a link to a free exercise. Especially if you are an expat, can you see how certain historical and cultural elements related to your home country have played and probably are still playing a role in how you understand and interpret and react to the world today? Some of the rules and beliefs that might have made sense in our home country may be quite unfit for your current life in a different country, now that you have a multicultural baggage with you. So it's worth looking back at these. When it comes to pride, maybe Jane Austen was onto something when she said, vanity and pride are different things. Though the words are often used synonymously, a person may be proud without being vain. Pride relates more to our opinion of ourselves. Vanity to what we would have others think of us. So following on her words, I'll dare say, Make sure you have a high opinion of yourself, of your work, and even your perceived failures. Be proud of it all, but avoid focusing on what others would think and thus being vain. Have a nice day.